I'm not going to go through all the vocab because I'm going to do a separate video of all the vocab, but just to give an idea, um, definitely go through, uh, if you go into what's the sign, you've probably figured out and followed, they post the directions on there. But if you put in quotes, unit 7.1, unquote, um, it will give you all the vocab from that unit. So grapes, raisin, fingerspell. This is a frustrating unit because half of the vocab are just fingerspelled. So it's frustrating to have that. Uh, they could have just said, here's a list of fingerspelled ones, but it's a bit frustrating. Um, so blackberry, so black and blue. So remember your colors. The colors are going to be important in this unit overall, um, especially in the assignments and the quizzes at the end. Um, raspberry or fingerspell. Remember there were three uh, for strawberry, 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 uh, strawberry. Although I haven't seen any of the videos where they sign this. So I think that's a, a much more rare one they, than they hint at. Um, sorry for my shadow back here. I feel like Peter Pan. Um, peach. The easiest way to think about peach is you'll see this or you'll see this. And uh, the way my brain latches onto it is, you know how it's got fuzz, peach fuzz? So you can kind of feel it. It feels like fuzzy. A little bit fuzzy today anyway. So peach or peach. Pear. Pear. And I've seen people do this too. <laughs> um, but it comes from the shape, that pear shape. Pear shape. Um, plum. Avocado. Again, you can fingerspell it. Or there's a couple of different ones where you're you're basically taking the half avocado and scooping out the meat, right? So I've seen avocado, avocado. Look at the what's the sign. There's a couple of different variations, but they're all basically the same concept. Orange. Now, tangerine, it's just, if you watch what's the sign, you'll see that they sort of walk you through a process of, it's like an orange, but it's smaller, okay? Um, so watch the what's the sign, uh, because then you can slow it down. You can watch specifics. Lemon. Um, lemon, we've used this for candy, right? Candy is one of the signs for candy. So lemon is going to be like this with an L um, or lemon. And it's not in front like the sign for who can be. It's just off to the side. And oftentimes with uh, lemon and lime, you want a sort of sour face. Well, I mean, if you love lemon, I guess. Um, lime, fingerspell. And again, um, what I'm going to tell you in the lecture is what we use most of all in uh, Ohio. But uh, what's the sign gives a couple of options for uh, uh, for different ones. Grapefruit, fingerspell. Banana, banana. Um, watermelon, water, melon, or pumpkin. And I've seen... Uh, this is generally for pumpkin, but I've also seen orange pumpkin as opposed to water pumpkin. Um, and I, what's the sign shows water, like you're eating the slice of watermelon. I have never seen that, um, but it's it makes sense when you see it. So once you've kind of processed it, uh, that should be easy to add to your vocabulary. And then melon just in general. Um, again, I'm not going to go through all these. Uh, I'm going to do a, a vocab list. Let me just see if there's any um, coconut. If there's any that really need explanation. Pineapple. Um, I, when I've seen in their video uh, conversation starters, someone doing it this way, as opposed to donut, um, maybe that's how the West Coast does it differently. Not really sure, but this can be either pineapple or donut, depending on the situation. Um, look at the what's the sign. There's another variation on pineapple. Uh, so now vegetables. Lettuce and cabbage are both just this. It's also a sign for garbage. And there's some theories that um, garbage and cabbage look the same when lip read. So that's why they have taken on the same sign. Um, another sign for garbage, if you remember, is this. Um, spinach, fingerspell. Broccoli, fingerspell. Cauliflower, fingerspell. Celery, fingerspell. 
because you don't want to, because that's carrot. Um, garlic, onion. So it's an open X as opposed to a closed X for apple and a little bit lower. So up by the eye because it makes you cry. Um, green onion, right? We said pay attention to colors. Review your colors for this one. So tomato comes from it's red and you slice it. And there are a couple different variations you can do with this hand. There's um, tomato, tomato, tomato. They're all basically the same. And it comes from red slice. So that's, you know, or of course you can fingerspell. And any different types of tomatoes, at one point in one of the assignments, someone spells Roma, Roma tomato. So now peppers, we don't worry about the bell part. We're just going to do whatever color. So green pepper, P-E-P-P-E-R. Pepper. So green pepper, red pepper, yellow pepper. Okay. Mushroom. Mushroom. Eggplant. Remember the snapshot? Boom, boom, boom. It's not egg. It is eggplant. Beet finger spell, carrot, or uh, oh, I'm trying to remember carrot because you you peel it right, you um, whatever that's called, you do the uh, to take off the skin. So, um, carrot or carrot. Uh, this one can be problematic, as you can guess. Potato, potato, and then sweet potato or yam. Beans. You'll sometimes see this or this or fingerspell beans. Green beans or green beans. Um, P also or fingerspell P. And again, with all of these, there are variations. Um, and True Way, through the course of a semester, I find will add new variations as things pop up. So, uh, or I have yet to see them clarify a video. I can only hope. Corn. Corn or corn. And some people do it this way. Most people kind of do it this way. So corn, corn. Uh, notice if you do it this way, it, it looks more like brushing your teeth. Corn. But context. Cucumber, zucchini, pumpkin or pumpkin. So orange, melon squash. So as I say, I'm going to do a video of just the vocab from the vocab list at the end of this slideshow. Um, these are way too complicated <laughs> conversations to have in class. Um, so that's it. I'm going to, I'll, I'll stop this now. Um, and then I'll go back and look, give advice on the assignments. Something to think about Lots of finger spelling in this unit. So review your finger spelling. If you are slow with your finger spelling, I can't help you at this point. I've given you all the strategies. Uh, you know, we've gone over it. If you're not giving at least 15 minutes a day, um, you're just shooting yourself in the foot. So take, take finger spelling seriously. Um, bah, bah, bah. Yeah, I will give these in. Uh, well, actually, no. Um, in the rationale, ah, in the rationale, the very first video, you're going to see two things. One is the sign for increase. So here's one level and you're adding more up. Uh, over the pandemic, I have gained weight. Boop, boop, boop. You can also lose weight. You can decrease. Oh, my insurance rate went down, right? So increase decrease. So you'll see that. You'll also see it paired with will. So they're saying your vocab for fruits and vegetables will increase. So increase will. And that's that verb plus modifier that I was talking about when we were going over grammar. Um, that that's how we pair things. That's how we have tense most often in ASL is um, increase finish. So your my weight has increased. Um, it has not yet decreased, right? Do, 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 not yet. It will. 
Um, same thing for vocab. Ba, 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 ba. Will. So it's a good way of practicing if you write down as we're starting to look at these modifiers, tense signs, past, finish, can't, um, negatives, can't, stuff like that, impossible, and just pair them up with a verb. As you learn a new verb, practice it with those. So eat, can't, eat, will, eat, finish. Right? Uh, getting used to that rhythm is really important. That's how we get you, how we develop the grammar and internalize it. Um, and that's really, that's really it. The, ra the rationale was pretty easy. The snapshot is pretty easy. And then it's just a ton of vocab. Uh, the assignments get a little bit more complicated and I will go into those in just a moment.